Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have an empty tumbler, so we gotta fill it. So I think we're gonna use some Mexican Crazy Lace Agate. I got a little batch here from Kingsley North that I had included in my latest grit order. Uh, some of these are looking pretty good. Uh, I have to say, uh, I'm excited to tumble these. I've actually never tumbled Mexican Crazy Lace Agate before. It looks really rough, so I'm thinking this is probably going to take several, several weeks in the rotary tumbler to get them shaped up. Once I'm satisfied with the shape, then we'll throw it in the lotto tumbler, which is running right now with another batch of rocks, and we'll finish stages two to four in there. Let's get this tumbler filled up and rocking and rolling. Okay, so we were halfway through stage one on the Mexican Crazy Lace Agate, and my barrel started leaking. So I had to take a look to see what was going on, and I found something devastating. My lid at the top of the barrel, where the lid snaps on, is cracking. You can see, you can see my hand through there. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I think. I'm going to try to fix it because I want to finish this run. I run this barrel basically 24-7 and I've had it for 10 months. It's made of like an acrylic or like a ceramic type material. It's not rubber. So anyway, not, not impressed, but I also got another crack on the bottom here. There's a crack here in the bottom. So this has gone through some heavy wear and tear. And what I'm going to try to do is I got some all-weather Gorilla duct tape here. I'm going to try to, on the inside note, try to seal this with some Gorilla Tape. See if I can finish this batch off. That kind of sucks. This is uh, second tumbler down this year. Tumbler barrel. Anyway, we're going to hook that up and then we'll get her started again. The uh, Crazy Lace Agates have been tumbling for another few weeks. I left them in there quite a while just to test the barrel out. So the barrel hasn't leaked anymore, so my tape job has proven to be successful and I'm gonna take these out and take a look at them see if I can move them on to the lotto so I got them all washed off just show you a couple here but here's another crazy lace So I did take some before and afters and I'll try to match these up. You can see these still have some cracks and I'm not going to try to get all those out. As long as I can see the details on the banding, I'll let it uh, polish up on that. This is a rather neat one. It's kind of different. Teeny tiny one. It's a pretty cool one there. So yeah, let's get these uh, ready for the first stage uh, in the lotto. And it's off. Grit's added. And we'll let this go for a couple days. We'll check in later. So these crazy lace agates are now starting the 500 grit stage, aluminum oxide. Got them all cleaned up. I had burnished in between right after stage two, 120, 220 grit. I burnished after that and now they're done that and they're I just added the grit for the 500 aluminum oxide so these will run for a couple days check back on them periodically just spraying them with some water next time you see this I'll be pulling these out to burnish again okay so I just pulled these crazy lace agates out of stage 3 which was the 500 grit aluminum oxide and I thought I'd just show you some of these some of the rocks I have in here are actually Bay of Fundy agates that I just used to fill up the barrel and I'll show you, this This is a Bay of Fundy agate. And look how stunning that is. It's turning out beautiful. And here's another Bay of Fundy agate. It's more of a plumy. See some purples. These are wet, of course, but 
uh, these are this is what we're hoping they'll look like when they're dry after the final polish stage here's some of the crazy lace crazy lace is looking crazy crazy beautiful of course I didn't get all the imperfections out of them this is one of my favorites right here I'm trying to do these in a reasonable amount of time I don't want to spend months tumbling them here's a really nice Saganite agate from the Bay of Fundy that I threw in here with this batch but this is one of the best Saganites I've ever tumbled. Look at it, it's just beautiful. So we'll throw these into stage four, which is the 1200 grit aluminum oxide. And uh, we'll see how it goes after that. The Crazy Lace Ag has just finished the burnishing stage after stage four. And now we're gonna move them on to stage five polish. So I'm gonna clean these off and then get them going. Okay, so the Crazy Lace Agates are in polish now, and these will run for two days. Then we'll run a burnishing run for a couple hours after that, and then they'll be ready to be shown off, so we'll see you then.